From Southwest Florida's news source, this is Fox 4 News at 6. It's not their fault that there's a drought going on, but, but they've got to get to water. Alligator sightings on the rise here in Southwest Florida. This picture taken last night shows one on a porch. This is in Punta Gorda. Experts say warmer temperatures and little rain means alligators are on the move. And part of it's hey, mating season. Four in the corners, Jillian Idol in the studio with how to protect yourself from becoming gator bait. Jill? Following me, Patrick, with so many rivers and canals drying up, gators are getting desperate. They're searching for water anywhere they can find it. So if your pool isn't fenced in, experts say you need to keep your eyes open. Let me just grab the little bugger. Vincent and Cherie Rose are no strangers to alligators. And we're only permitted for them to reach four feet. And then we either have to find more property or turn them in to uh, a ranch or farm. For more than 20 years, the couple rehabs, researches, and rescues alligators and crocodiles from all over the world. Just recently, they call Fort Myers home. Florida is the only place in the world that has both alligators and crocodiles, and a lot of people don't realize that. And when they see photos like these, they aren't surprised one bit. <laughs> In the last few days, alligators appeared on busy roadways and people's yards. April marks the start of alligator mating season. With hotter weather and little rain, these reptiles are on the move. Alligators are on the move um, looking for courtship, but they're also running out of all their old watering holes or where they used to frequent. It's recommended you avoid riverbanks at dusk and dawn, but also something as simple as feeding ducks can create a disturbance. The biggest thing that attracts um, an alligator into your area is indirect or direct feeding. Florida Fish and Wildlife has a 24 hour hotline. You can call if one does end up in your yard. Experts recommend you never approach one. If they feel cornered in your backyard, they can do some damage and they can outrun you and they can go right through a glass plate. The couple tells me the drought could also cause more excavating than normal. That's when an alligator digs a little cave near the water's edge. Accidentally get too close and you could potentially become prey. In the studio, Jillian Idol, Fox 4, in your corner. All right, thank you, Jillian. Florida Wildlife.